So we have been speaking now uh, to, we can now speak to Bright Blue's communication uh, manager, Joseph Silk, to tell us more about this polling. Uh, very good morning to you. Who did you poll, Joseph? Who, what sort of uh, size was the, uh, the sample and, and what sort of people are we talking about? Uh, good morning, uh, Eamon and Isabel. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, so we polled about 2,000 people, and that included a cross-section of different voters. So within that, we had about 500 Conservative voters, and that's from the 2019 general election. I think it's important to outline that because often, you know, say take our viewers or people who mm. would maybe want to criticise your poll, they would say, oh, you're only speaking to a very narrow field, you're only speaking to GB news viewers, but that's not the case. No, absolutely not. Cross-section of society, representative sample. Um, and the polling, by the way, was done by uh, Techno UK and we analysed it. OK, so what were the most important issues then that Conservatives have identified and, and how did they think the government is coping with them? So we found a lot of concern among both the public and also people who voted Conservative in 2019 um, about issues other than uh, party gate. So particularly... Uh, the cost of living crisis. So we found that uh, the public and Conservative voters uh, believe that those on lower incomes are more likely than those on higher incomes to have suffered uh, financially since the last general election. We also found that the public believes across the board that the Conservatives are form, uh, performing worse than expected in government since 2019. And that includes uh, Conservative voters apart from on healthcare and climate change. We also found that the public overall believes that the Conservative government is uh, unprepared to deal with the challenges of 2022, and that includes rising energy prices and the cost of living. And Conservative voters also feel the same way about every single issue apart from a new pandemic wave. Interesting. So it's difficult reading then for the Conservative government. Yes, it's not ideal. It's a bit pessimistic. I think potentially more pessimistic than I would have expected. I think maybe the public would think that the Conservatives were more prepared to deal with a, a pandemic wave, but only seemingly Conservative voters from 2019 think that. So, as regards Partygate, they would rather we get on with issues, the government would get on with issues, than constantly mulling over Partygate? Yeah, so we looked at what people think would most help them, uh, and we found that for businesses, people think that um, loans and, and bounce-back support from the pandemic would be most helpful. And then for people on uh, lower and middle incomes, it's uh, helped with the cost of living. So that, for the public, really is the focus. Oh could give Boris Johnson, of course, a, um, a get-out clause, couldn't it? Because they can actively preach that back to people, what, what people are really interested in, what people are really concerned mm -hmm. in. And that sort of, you know, puts all this a bit on the back burner. Absolutely. And I think one of the main takeaways from this is that actually um, these problems will persist regardless of who is prime minister. So it's not as if you can get rid of Boris Johnson and then suddenly the cost of living crisis is solved. Um, this is something that the Conservatives, regardless of who is the leader, will have to deal with in 2022. You ask people about then, you know, if there was a change of leadership, who would they prefer to see? Or do you think that someone else might be better at the job? Uh, no, admittedly, the, the, the polling did not cover that. What we were looking at was more general um, issues that the public uh, facing. OK, I just wondered how you could conclude that they didn't think it was necessarily relating to Boris or if somebody else would maybe be better at steering us through this. Uh, well, you can't tell that directly, but it's clear that that's a massive focus. Of course, a new leader might have different policies which might affect uh, the cost of living. But I suppose the point is the fact that there are other issues that don't relate specifically to Boris Johnson and parties uh, which the public is very concerned about. Good stuff. Joseph, thanks very much indeed. Interesting stuff. We'll be reflecting it throughout the programme this morning. Really appreciate yeah. that. Joseph Silk there, he's the communications manager for the um, polling group Bright Blue.